What's going on guys? Get here with Rask Group back with another video today talking about my updated Pelican box setup. So a few changes, some of them are pretty significant, but not a whole lot across the board. Uh, still using the Pelican 1650. Uh, big fan of it. I think it's spacious to accomplish whatever it is you need to. But let's dive right into the changes. So we're going to start with the lid and work from there. So as you can see, I took off all the hook and loop. Um, and subsequently, all the hook and loop on the Magpul DACA pouches that I was using to stick up there for organization. Um, if you're the occasional shooter and you're just trying to organize your stuff, I still think that works. But as much as I'm taking this box in and out of the house, um, start seeing some, you know, just some wear and tear type things, you know, Velcro wasn't sticking as good, it was getting kind of gunky and gummed up. So I did some research and a um, company I've bought some products from before, Grayman Tactical, makes a panel to bolt right inside the lid of the 1650. As you can see, it's kind of like a molly grid. Um, and I've been using that so far. I really, really like it. Um, just in the lid, I'm fitting kind of my, I call it my, my target pouch that has my pasters, um, my larger pasters, my stapler, my staples, um, black pasters for focus. Um, behind that, I have my clipboard shoved in the back. Next to it, I have my tape measure that I use to measure out for shooting challenges, a couple of the medium dip Magpul DACA pouches with some batteries, some merch. Uh, I got my ear pro hung up and I got my shot timer hung up. The Everything is hung up with Night Eyes number one carabiners, except for the shot timer pouch that is one wrap Velcro. And I could probably do a much nicer job than what I did, it's just kind of crudely put up there. So. Uh, also in the background, I have a bunch of stickers. I took all the stickers off the exterior of my case. Um, not because I plan to fly with this. I probably get a 1650 Air at that point. But I didn't like the idea of like it being in my vehicle, going into hotel rooms for shooting events, stuff like that, and everybody can kind of pinpoint exactly what it is. So I took everything off, threw some stickers on the inside. I think it's kind of cool that you can see it through the Molly panel. Um, when you take everything off and then if I ever need to just completely remove the molly panel Obviously the inside of my pelican is kind of decorated kind of cool So that is the first recent upgrade. So and that's available at graymantactical.com Going into the main compartment obviously you'll see all my uh, Hook and loop mag pouches are removed out of there and that is because I'm now using the cloud defensive ATB pouches the ammo pouches um I have one for rifle, I have one for pistol, and not only can I fit about 500 rounds of rifle for the rifle one and about 900 rounds, I'm sorry, 800 rounds of pistol for the pistol one, but I can also fit about three rifle mags in here and then also five pistol mags in the other one, which works out perfectly for me. Um, you know, this is my personal Pelican box training setup. This isn't what I take to classes. and I've never ran through more than like five pistol mags in a course, never ran mo through more than a few rifle mags. Um, if it's a course that asks you to bring a trust rig and plate carrier, I can obviously have plenty of room to throw that in there with those extra mags, so it's a non-issue. Um, but removing those mags um, saved me a lot of space. I decided to try these mag, pou these mag pouch, or I'm sorry, ammo pouches out after my buddy Donnie at uh, the Manzano Tactical uh, Eagle Tactics course. He had a couple of these pouches and I thought they looked like a really good option and I got them and I couldn't be happier. So, and I was using the Magpul DACA ones, but the reality is they don't really hold their shape. They don't hold their form, you know, the more empty they get. So I opted to get rid of, not get rid of those. I repurposed them and then I, uh, now I'm using those. So I saved one of my black Magpul DACA takeout pouches and as you can see between them like right over there. Yep right there um, And I have my fix it stick set along with some Paragon uh, optic light weapon light cleaner and some Jello sauce and some Loctite a few other odds and ends some zip ties just it's a maintenance pouch so and then I just kind of throw my gun belt in there in my training notebook and That's my Pelican loadout. So 
I'm not going to go through everything. I kind of done, have done that before where we talk about what's in each individual pouch. Maybe we'll do that again. Uh, the highlight of this video is going to be the Grayman Tactical Panel for uh, Pelican cases. I think you guys, if you're running a Pelican, should look into it. I'm very, very happy with my purchase. And there's a lot of utility you can get out of it. So until next time, guys, stay safe, stay trained, stay rad. I'll be back with the next one.